Hey everyone, Dave here with Beast Made Reviews, the channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. Welcome to my backyard. It's been a nice summer over here in the South. So I wanted to bring you into my backyard and do a review of some of my favorite shorts for the summertime. So pardon the noise, of course, if there's any birds or airplanes, pardon our progress. I love to do these kind of guide or list type of videos where I compare different products of the same type. So today we're going to be comparing a lot of different great shorts that I think are really worth it at their price point. And I'm going to be on time this time. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not on time with these type of videos, but this time I am in season, so I am doing good. Last year I did a great comparison video on some of my favorite t-shirts. If you haven't seen that video and you're really interested in some of my favorite t-shirts for the summertime, definitely go check out the video up here. Now, the type of shorts that we're going to be mentioning today are different shorts that I think are really good for kind of stylish wear. I'm not going to be going into specific shorts for maybe some type of sports, running, cycling, hiking, that type of thing. If we went into all the type of shorts, I would be going into a deep, deep rabbit hole. But all these shorts here, I think, are good for uh, stylish wear outside the house, sometimes inside the house for maybe just comfortable shorts. But I try to narrow it down to that. As far as sizes, I picked the size that I thought worked best on me. So they're going to kind of vary a little bit, but I'm 6'1", about 170 pounds. So just take that into account. I usually wear a size 31 waist, maybe 32, depending on the size. Shorts, small or medium size, kind of just depends on what they have. But when I mention the shorts, I'll mention the size as well. And if you're looking into getting any of these shorts, I have affiliate links down below. You can go and check that out helps the channel out of course you don't have to but i always appreciate it when you do i'm going to be doing an overdub of the rest of this video so you don't have to see this face until the very end <laughs> and of course apologies for the gratuitous butt shots in this video <laughs> you can't help it with shorts i guess but maybe you're into that i don't know no judging here with that all the way let's go ahead and get into the shorts all right, the first company we'll talk about today is American Giant. American Giant is a company that I really like. I've mentioned them before on my channel. If you've watched my channel before, I've mentioned them many times on different videos. They're a company that makes well-made products, everything made in the USA, and they even specify the region or state or area that the clothes are being made in the USA. I am consistently impressed by their quality, and for reference, their sizes generally run a little bit larger than average, I find. Now, my first suggestion is is going to be their lifeguard shorts. These shorts are lightweight, packable shorts that are made from quick drying nylon. And they're kind of like lifeguard swimsuits. If you watched, you know, any type of lifeguard or lifeguard TV show before, it kind of looks like that. They have a mesh liner on the inside, so they could be used as a swimsuit, hence the name. There's several different colors to choose from. There's a back pocket on the back. There's a drawstring waist with metal aglets or tips. And these are a size medium, which fits me pretty well, but it has a relaxed fit. I think these are great lightweight shorts that really kind of have that kind of swim swimsuit type of vibe. I think they fit best in that kind of swimming coastal type of application. I think if you wear this outside of that, they might be a little bit out of place unless you're using them for kind of active wear. Next shorts are the sweat short by American Giant. And this is American Giant's take on the classic sweat short design. These are made from a 6.9 ounce, 100% cotton French terry. And these are some of the best made, best feeling sweat shorts I have tried. And coming from the creators of their full zip, American Giant, that's no surprise. They make a really high quality sweatsuit, sweatshirt type of material. So these sweat shorts are excellent, has that same type of material in these. These are a size medium and the color is classic blue, which is a limited edition. And they do have several different limited edition colors on their website. They have a very relaxed fit and that works with these type of shorts. These fit me all right, um, though I might even go a size smaller for more of a fitted type of feel here. Overall, these are some of the best sweat shorts I have felt. They feel substantial and weighty and high quality, and I really like that about these. Next are the Brigade Shorts by American Giant, and these are made for military purposes, inspired by military for military, and these are supposed to be mil-spec, though I'm not sure how to substantiate that claim. These shorts are very light and very tough and fitting for military use. They're also temperature regulating, so they're great in many different temperatures. They're made from a 6.4 ounce four-way stretch fabric of 90% nylon, 10% spandex, and these shorts have a 9-inch inseam. 
These are size 32 for reference, usually what I wear in shorts, but these are clearly one size large, so I would suggest sizing down for a closer fit. The color here is balsam, which is a color that's kind of in between kind of a forest green and kind of gray, so I'm not sure how it shows up on the camera here, but it's kind of in between those colors. Overall, these are fantastic shorts. I just wish I had these in my correct size, but they're very lightweight, very breathable, and I really like these a lot. Just overall, just cool shorts. The next shorts are gonna be from the company Flint and Tender. Now this is an exclusive brand on Huckberry.com, a website which I love and I've highly recommended them in the past. Flint and Tender makes clothes that have a great balance of quality, size, and style. I really like that a lot. A lot of their stuff is made in the USA, though not everything is, but a lot of it is. And overall, I really love Flint and Tender. I've mentioned them a lot, so I can highly recommend them. Now, the first suggestion from Flint and Tender are their 365 shorts. Now, this is one of the mainstays of the Flint and Tender line. They have 365 shorts and 365 pants that are kind of just great everyday wear pants. These are cut like a chino, but they stretch kind of like a performance short. These are made from an eight ounce fabric blend of 98% cotton and 2% spandex. These have a classic design and a great fit. There's a lot of color options. Mine are in charcoal uh, here, and there are two inseams available, seven inch and nine inch. Mine are in the seven inch variety. I'm wearing size 31 in the waist, and these fit great. I really like these shorts, especially just for an everyday wear type of short that look familiar, but with a lot of different color options and are very comfortable. These are hard to beat. These are great, fantastic shorts. Highly recommend them. Next are the cotton linen shorts by Flint and Tender. These are cut almost exactly like the 365 shorts. These are made with a 70% cotton, 30% linen blend that is very light and breathable. They also have a couple of extra features like chambray inside binding, polka dot pockets, and Corozo buttons, which are great additions here. And these come only in a nine inch inseam. I kind of wish there was a seven inch. I usually suggest that people wear kind of a shorter inseam because I think shorter inseams look great on most guys. Unless you're really tall with really long legs, you want a shorter inseam, I think that really flatters uh, a man's physique more than a longer inseam. Though the nine inch inseam here still looks good, I just wish there was a seven inch. The size is 31 here, just like the 365 shorts. The color is natural, and there are other colors available as well. Overall, these are a great breathable version of the 365 shorts. So if you like those, or if you have some of those, definitely check these out. These are just a great lightweight option that's fantastic for summer. Next are the French Terry sweat shorts by Flint and & Tender. And these are Flint & Tender's take on the classic sweat short design this time. These are made with a midweight 100% American ring spun cotton French Terry. The fit is relaxed, but still looks great. I find the fit is a little bit more tailored in these, which I really appreciate. Mine are a size medium, though size small might even be better here, though the medium still look pretty good. The mid-weight fabric feels lighter and more breathable than the heavier weight fabric of maybe the American Giants, but not as substantial or as tough as the American Giants. So it's kind of an either or type of thing. Do you want something that's lighter or do you want something that's tougher? I think both are great options. It just depends on what you kind of want. I love the feel of the tougher shorts from American Giant, but I really appreciate having lighter shorts, especially for nighttime or sleeping or maybe in the heat. Overall, great sweat shorts that do exactly what you expect from sweat shorts. So great job, Flint Tender. The next couple of shorts are from the brand called Proof. Now Proof is another exclusive brand from Huckberry.com. And this brand excels in technical fabrics with a very modern and almost futuristic aesthetic. They have lots of different fabrics that have a little bit of stretch, maybe some water repellent coatings on there and just a really cool overall vibe and look. My first suggestion from them is the Nomad shorts. These are made from a Japanese Torre polyester stretch twill, and this is my first experience with this type of fabric, and I really like it. It has a two-way stretch, is breathable, and has a soft feel to it, kind of in between chinos and tech shorts. It also has a water-resistant DWR, durable water repellent coating. It has dual back pockets, black hardware, covert zip pocket on the inside right pocket, and these have a seven inch inseam. I'm wearing size 31, the color is gray, and overall, I really like these shorts a lot. I love the feel of these. As far as a technical fabric, these are some of the best. They feel great. They're lightweight, they fit fantastic, and I really like these a lot. Next suggestion are the Equator Cargo Shorts by Proof. And these are gonna break my rule of not mentioning cargo shorts. And this is my only rule break here, <laughs> mostly because these are some of the best cargo shorts I've ever seen and worn. They're very low profile and they still look great. The cargo pockets don't stick out. They don't look baggy or bulky. They look fantastic. 
Now these are made with a lightweight 100% polyester fabric with four-way stretch and a DWR water repellent coating. Then it's treated with an ultra micro sanding to make them quieter when moving, which is pretty cool, though I don't know how much difference that makes. They have low profile cargo pockets, zippered back pockets and hidden zip pocket. And they have a drawstring in the waist on the inside for more of a tailored kind of uh, fit there. They have a nine inch inseam and the color is dark olive, though it looks more dark brown than olive. These are size 31 and they fit great in the waist. These are easily the best cargo shorts I've ever worn. These are fantastic. If you're looking for cargo shorts, definitely check these out. They fit fantastic. They're comfortable with the stretch and they look great. I like them a lot. My next suggestions are by a company called Wellen. Wellen is another Huckberry exclusive brand and they're very much inspired by West Coast coastal living and their clothes really reflect that type of lifestyle. It has a very laid back, type of feel and look with a coastal type of vibe. Really cool. My first suggestion from them is the hybrid cruiser short. Now these are very interesting shorts. They look like chino shorts, but they feel like a swimsuit. They're 86% polyester and 14% spandex, and it's made with blue sign approved fabric from a factory that has worked to eliminate harmful chemicals and maximize environmental performance. So that's an added bonus there. It's unlined, but it has mesh pockets, kind of like what you would see in a swimsuit. There's a zippered back pocket with a shock loop for keys and a secret zipper pocket in the left-hand pocket. These are very light, very breathable. They're quick drying. So these are a great summer option, especially if you're near water at all. These are size 31. The color is heather blue and these have a seven and a half inch inseam. I find these are really interesting. I really like the kind of combination of swimsuit and shorts. They look more like shorts, but they act like a swimsuit at times. I don't know how much I would use it as a swimsuit, but it's an interesting option and they're great shorts all by themselves. Next is the Wellen Fatigue Cord Shorts. Now Wellen always has a few wild card items in their lineup that are great. And these corduroy shorts are one of those. These are made from a 100% fine whale organic cotton corduroy. And these are another great casual short that look and feel great and have a vintage, really cool look. The corduroy is subtle. It's not too big. It doesn't look like an old used up sofa or anything. These have a drawstring in the waist and they come in an eight inch inseam. The size is medium on these and the color is olive. Overall, I think these are great shorts for the summer that have just a really cool vibe. I like these a lot. My next suggestions are from the company Taylor Stitch. And if you watch my channel at all, you've probably already predicted that I would mention Taylor Stitch. <laughs> I love Taylor Stitch. They're one of my favorite brands. They have clothes with a modern fit with a retro inspired aesthetic that resembles kind of West Coast and maybe even workwear clothes. Quality and sizing are always on point and always fantastic. I really love their styling. Now the shorts that I'm going to be mentioning here by Taylor Stitch all have a pants variety. So if you're familiar with their pants at all, these are just shorter pants. My first suggestion is their easy short. These are made with a six ounce fabric of 52% linen, 24% spun silk, and 24% organic cotton. These are some of the nicest, lightest shorts I've worn. They're like the name suggests, easy to wear. They have an internal drawstring, horn buttons, they have a San Francisco map print on the pockets. They have an eight inch inseam and two button back pockets as well. This color is in navy herringbone, which I really like the herringbone pattern on this. And size is 31 and they fit perfectly on me. These shorts feel phenomenal in the hand and while wearing. They fit perfect in the waist on me and they have kind of a relaxed thigh. I really like these shorts as kind of just a, an everyday, really lightweight option. I love the feel of the fabric. I love the pattern on these and the color. My only complaint is that sometimes it's harder to match shirts with this kind of herringbone navy pattern on the shorts themselves. Other than that, they're some of the best lightweight shorts out there. My next suggestion are the trail short by Taylor Stitch. These are inspired by vintage military clothing. And as you would imagine, these are kind of a tougher option for shorts. They're durable and stylish, and I really like the way these look. It's made with an 8.5 ounce, 100% organic cotton in reverse sateen. And that has a very interesting feel to the fabric. They say it gets better with each wash, which is pretty cool. Looking forward to that. What's interesting about these is the pockets are stitched down on the inside, which is uh, pretty interesting. I don't know if I've seen many shorts with stitched down pockets. There are two buttoned back pockets. It comes in an eight inch inseam. And there's some other classic tailor stitch appointments like the San Francisco patch pockets. The colorway in this is called raindrop camo, which looks really cool. These are size 31 and of course they fit really great. They feel tough, but comfortable 
and they fit me perfectly. I really like these. Next are the Morse shorts by Taylor Stitch. These shorts are comfortable, well-fitting daily drivers, and these in particular highlight how strong linen is. Apparently, linen is about twice as strong as cotton. These are made from an 8-ounce, 65% organic cotton, 35% linen blend, washed to reveal a slubby texture. They have an 8-inch inseam, and these are in the color navy, and they're size 31, of course, and they fit great. Now, as far as styling, these are fairly standard looking shorts, technically, but these have become some of my favorite shorts recently just because of how great they look and feel. They're just easy to wear. I love how tailored they look. They look great with almost anything you can match them with. And because of just how tough it is, I never feel like I need to baby them. Overall, fantastic shorts. Next are the camp shorts by Taylor Stitch. Like the other shorts I've mentioned, the camp shorts are the shorts version of the camp pants. These are made with an 8.5 ounce, 100% organic cotton and then washed for a soft, lived-in feel. And of the shorts that I have, these look the most aged from the wash, but I really like the way that looks. These have a button fly, which I really appreciate in this. It has an eight inch inseam, and this is in khaki herringbone, which I really like the herringbone pattern in this. It's subtle, it doesn't overwhelm the pants, it looks great. And these are size 31, and of course they fit great. What I like about these is they almost look like denim in a way, and I really like that. These are very tough shorts, but comfortable, they fit well, and I love the wash look in these. Fantastic shorts. My next suggestion is from a company called Bird Dogs. Now, this is a new company for me. They recently reached out to me and sent some of their shorts and pants, and I was instantly impressed by the quality and by their pants and shorts. They have casual pants with tech fabrics that are comfortable and styling that is familiar, and then they have optional built-in underwear, which we'll get to in a minute. Now, my suggestion by Bird Dogs here is called the Coach Cockburns. As far as I can tell, they have all the same short design but they have different colors for the shorts and they name the colors different names of pants. So that can kind of get confusing. Essentially, the Coach Cockburns are the light gray option of Bird Dogs shorts. Now these were a huge surprise with me and wearing them, I really like them. I have the underwear option here. So these shorts do have an underwear lining. These are made with an 89% poly, 11% spandex material. And the underwear lining is similar, but just a slightly different ratio. These are a size medium and they have a seven inch inseam, though there are shorter and longer inseams available as well. They have a zip back pocket as well as two zip hidden pockets and no zipper or fly in the front. So that's kind of a mock fly there. These are incredibly comfy. I was skeptical of the undies, how they would fit and how they would feel, uh, but they fit great and they feel incredible. I don't know how well they'll hold up under repeat washes since the underwear will necessitate you washing these more, but so far so good. There are a ton of different colorways and they all look pretty good. Some of them are loud and crazy and colorful and kooky. Some of them are more common and more conservative. So you can take your pick there. They come with or without undies, so you don't have to get the underwear if you don't want them. But I think both options are really cool. Overall, I love these as kind of an active wear type of short. And my last suggestion is by a company called Jambies. Now this is one time where I have been happy to have received targeted ads from social media spying on me. <laughs> I saw an ad for these on social media and had to put them on the list here. Simply put, Jambies are boxers with pockets that you're supposed to wear. They're super soft, they're unisex, and they're meant as loungewear to wear at home or all by themselves. Personally, I think men look better in these designs. I think that they're a little bit boxy and they look better on kind of a man's build, but the colors are kind of all over the place. I think the colors may work better for women. There's only a few colors I think men would like. So it's kind of a strange mix there. Now these are made with a blend of 95% Modal, which I love that fabric, and 5% Spandex. They are incredibly soft and stretchy and they feel amazing but I would personally only wear these at home. I would never wear these out of the house. <laughs> I don't even know if I would check the mail on these, to be honest. But that's exactly what they're going for. And as such, they are great for what they are. These are size medium and the fit is very relaxed, but it works and they're very comfortable. I could even go a size down and be comfortable with that as well, but these size mediums fit great. And the color on this is navy and mint. I've worn these shorts a lot and overall I love these. I think they're great for around the house. They're no fuss, no muss, great shorts. So that's all I have. What do you think of this? Let me know your favorites down below. And if you have any suggestions for any of these, let me know down in the comments down below. I love you for it. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe down below. And click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. Thank you for watching. I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews.